Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API Recommended Practice 572 Inspection Practices for Pressure Vessels. In this lecture, we will discuss the Clause 4 Introduction to Pressure Vessels. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 4 as well as reviews of some of the important sub-clauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in clause 4 accompanied by the sub-clauses. General a pressure vessel is a container designed to withstand internal or external pressure. The pressure vessels may have been constructed in accordance with ASME Section 8, other recognized pressure vessel codes, or as approved by the jurisdiction. These codes typically limit design basis to an external or internal design pressure, no less than 15 psi. However, API RP 572 also includes vessels that operate at lower pressures. External pressure on a vessel can be caused by an internal vacuum or by fluid pressure between an outer jacket and the vessel wall. As illustrated in figure, example of the jacketed vessel, Vessels subject to external pressure are usually inspected in the same manner as those subject to internal pressure. Columns, towers, drums, reactors, heat exchangers, condensers, air coolers, bullets, spheres, and accumulators are common types of industry pressure vessels. As illustrated in figures, examples of column, tower, and drum pressure vessels. As illustrated in figures, examples of reactor, heat exchanger, sphere, and bullet. Review questions. Question number one. Most pressure vessels codes do not apply to vessels with internal or external pressure that is less than. Answer is B. Question number two. Many vessels with external pressure are Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. 